Hey, Coach Harlan here with IB4E Coaching. In a previous video, I talked about being the PIC or the pilot in command of your business. Now, PIC is responsible for everything that happens during the flight, especially if an emergency happens in flight. They're responsible for making sure that everything is taken care of and fixed while they concentrate on flying the plane. In your business, when things go wrong, people look to you as the PIC, the pilot in command, to make sure that your business is safe and that everybody in there is safe, right? How you handle those difficult or challenging situations is crucial to your business, not only to the longevity of your business, but also to the safety and security of your family, your employees, and everybody else that relies on you. I'll tell you exactly what I mean, what it means to be the PIC in your business right after this, so stick with me. So if you've ever been on a commercial flight, you've probably looked into the cockpit and you see there are two pilots. One of those pilots, generally the person on the left, is the PIC or the pilot in command. And they are responsible, legally responsible, for everything that happens during that flight from the time they do the walk around to the taxiing, the takeoff, and the arrival at the final destination. They are responsible for everything that happens during that flight, especially when an emergency happens in flight. Now, the PIC is responsible for the decisions on how to fix things, how to get things back on track, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're the ones that are doing that work. The PIC is not the person that has to be in control all the time, but they are responsible for everything that happens during that flight. You, as the owner of your business, are the PIC, the pilot in command of your business. It's your responsibility to run that business efficiently and effectively because everybody in there, your family, your employees, your vendors, your customers, they all rely on you. So it's your responsibility to make sure that everything uh, goes as smoothly as possible, right? So what does it mean to be the PIC in your business? During an emergency, during a difficult situation, people will look to you to make those kind of decisions, right? Let's say you have a big piece of uh, machinery that your business runs on. That piece of machinery pumps out the product that you then sell to your customers. And if that machine is down, there's no productivity happening and no customer orders are going out. That is your responsibility. Now, that doesn't mean that you pick up the wrench and get out there in that machine and fix it, but it means that you concentrate on running the business and delegate and give the orders to whoever needs to make sure that that machine gets up and running. Hopefully you have contingency plans in place or continuity plans in place where this machine breaks, this is how we do this particular work. If this vendor can't supply this material, this is where we can get that material. Those things can be delegated to somebody else, but it's your responsibility as the PIC, as the owner of the business, to make sure that those systems are in place so that everything continues to run smoothly. Now this is all part of a framework I learned as a private pilot, aviate, navigate, communicate. Aviate means fly the plane, right? That's your first responsibility as the owner of the business is to make sure your business continues to run. Second, navigate. Know where you are, where you want to be or need to be or should be, and how to get back on track when you find yourself in these difficult situations. And number three, communicate. How do you communicate, delegate to your employees to make sure that they are confident in your running of the business, they know what to do, and they can do their job right while you continue to run the business. Aviate, Navigate, Communicate. It's all part of my ACE Business Academy, a group coaching program that I have going on. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the show notes down below. As the PIC, it is your responsibility to make sure that everything goes like clockwork, right? You don't have to be the one actually doing the work, but you have to delegate that work to your employees. And you have to have employees in place, trained up, ready to do those things when that emergency comes up. You, as the PIC, should be focused on the things that actually keep the business afloat, getting the customers, getting the orders, um, getting that pipeline filled so that you know you have those sales coming in. That's your job. Everything else can be delegated and should be delegated to other employees. If you find yourself doing a lot of the menial tasks just to keep the business going, if you're spending all your time working in the business rather than working on the business, I hate to say it, but you've got a job. You don't have a business. A business is an enterprise that runs for you, generates revenue and profit for you, whether you're there or not. That's the kind of business you want to put into place. If you're the only one doing all of this work, 
then you're limiting yourself. You're limiting what you can do. You're limiting your growth. And that's something that we can definitely work on. Now, I know a lot of, a lot of guys are going to say, hey, I am the only person in the business right now. I only have a couple uh, employees that I can rely on. We can work on that. We can build it to where you have a good, strong, world-class team of employees that can run that business for you, whether you are there or not. So if you're tired of doing all the menial tasks, working 50, 60 hours a week just to make ends meet, if you're frustrated with either employees that are not giving their all or the turnover in your employees, then we need to chat. Go out to my website, www.timewithcoach.com. Schedule a free 20-minute consultation. No big sales pitch. Just we'll talk about your business, what you're dealing with right now, and come up with one or two strategies that you can implement right now to fix those problems. All right, so go out to www.timewithcoach.com. Find a date and time that works for you and schedule that call. Hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to uh, hit that bell icon too so you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. All right? And that's it for me, Coach Harlan saying so long for now.